Hi, it's Hazy, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you five ways of making um, flowers for your junk journals. I've also got other examples as well that I showed during it. Let me just show you this what I've just found because I'll show you right at the end and you might miss it. Okay, so this one and that one is the same principle. But I just couldn't find an ink. ink well, I was going to do it slightly different ink or put that. Okay. Um, so that's that's slightly done, it's done slightly different to this one, which is in a, a different video. But it, it's exactly the same principle. Okay, so I do hope you will join me today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share my video and please press the notification bell with your crafty fingers and I'll show you how to make these five different ones and show you different view viewpoints in other uh, my other my journal that I've found and other examples of things as well. And uh, that one I, I made because um, I thought of it today. <laughs> but I think it looked better smaller actually. If you did a really small one of those, that looked really nice. But it'll show you how to make it and that's a big one just for an example okay um let's think I can, what else i can tell you oh yes um so please join my facebook group and tell me which one you like the best um so which one you've made which one you want to make let's think and also i've got free printable on there newly put on there today um because that's just to show me appreciation of you and um that they're absolutely free but I have got on there, buy me a coffee if you want to buy me a coffee, which buys me a craft item, basically, um, on that. And um, but so thanks very much to anybody who's done that already. I have bought some things already <laughs> towards my, at the moment, towards my daughter's journals. So that's brilliant. Thank you so much for that. And... Um, I've been using videos as well, yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much, and let's. I think that's done it. Oh, because that's the. No. Right. Okay then. So. So we're doing these today. Five different ways of making flowers. I'll show you how to do those. Okay then, and let's go. Right then. So we're making flowers, are we? <laughs> let's see how many types of flowers we can make. Okay. Where's my big? I don't know my big big scissors are, but I like these. It's got a little fluted edge there so all right this paper has not printed very well because it's got lines all over it and it all doesn't fall you so i would say there's something not quite right there but what i'm going to do is you cut a rough square cut a rough square oh yeah let me show you the prototype for this so this is the prototype for this one you don't have to use a brad you can use a little bit of paper or something in the middle that's a brad that's a red brad perfect i only got them yesterday and i didn't even know i had them <laughs> So I said, Ooh, and if I've got a red one, it is. So, oh, good. Right, so there. So they've got little petals. I'm going to make them slightly bigger than that because it is a bit, that is very tiny when you start to. Right, so this one, like, okay, so it's one, two, three, four. I'm going to make about four inch square. Oh, that's just about right for that because of the. Okay, and approximately four inches again. One, two, three, four there. I don't think it has to be perfect anyway. But uh, I think it's that way. It don't matter. What, I don't think it matters. You can turn it around anyway. Right. So what you do is you fold your paper in half like that. Face the fold towards you. Get this little. This is the five petal flower, by the way. <laughs> I haven't announced that yet. So this is. You put that little corner a third of the way down here. So imagine that's divided into three. That's a third of the way. It doesn't. I don't think it matters. You don't have to be accurate. So don't worry about being accurate. That. Right, so then you fold this one behind like that. Okay, it doesn't that's that's probably necessary to make a nice point, but it doesn't matter if when you fold this over it doesn't. Right, so then you fold that corner, it's like a kite shape there. So that kite shape bit to that kite shape bit there. Okay, and you try and get a point in the middle here, it doesn't matter about there. Because that's going to be cut off, believe it or not. And then you turn it over because you're gonna use you're only gonna use that bit. <laughs> So what you do then is cut here, and if you want to, if you want a, a heart-shaped petal, you cut. Hold on, yeah, it'll cut a bit. You cut a bit further down there. So that should give you a heart-shaped petal. <laughs> yeah, I think it does. Yeah. 
there we go five five shape oh look how big that is five now okay then you get a piece of blood page or something like that or different piece of paper if you like use the same piece of paper if you like but i'm using different i'm going to cut off these Let's see if it's going to be big enough yeah uh, is it oops <laughs> i don't know if not we could use a different one right so hopefully that's big enough let's have a look see how big it is right one two oh nearly three so that's good then right so one two three ish that way that's going to be quite a bit less isn't it but never mind let's fold that in half it doesn't it's not look mine's not even straight so there we go just fold it off the folded edge is towards me otherwise you could pick that'll come in half if you don't <laughs> right i've done it before yes you can tell i've worn the t-shirt with that one right so there we go that's the going to the third of the way down look it's not even accurate so that, that's fine it would be fine okay so just fold along there like that and then fold your kite shape oh that's, that's an even better kite shape than before but never mind <laughs> that way oh i haven't folded that one back doesn't matter about that fold it back afterwards oh Let's get it a bit more. I don't know if this makes any difference. But look at all that you're going to cut off, right? So I'm going to cut off that again. It's going to have a fairly squarish petal. Hopefully, I'll make a heart shaped one again. Oh, there we go. Look, easy. That's how you make the five shaped petal there. I didn't manage to do it on that one lot. <laughs> I've thought, I've thought and thought and thought now. <laughs> right, so that, oh, yeah. So that's ish in the middle there. Okay, and then we cut off another piece of this, and I'm not sure how big that is, but I think it's, you have to adjust it if it's not quite right. Okay, and then I'm going to put that in the middle. That's going to be massive, a little bit more. Let's try that. If not, we can just cut the flower a little bit more down anyway. Okay, so again, oh, see I was doing it the wrong way then. <laughs> Don't do it that way. <laughs> it's got to be with the crease, that there, and then that third way down there like that and fold that back you don't have to fold it back you can fold it back at the end if you like like i did last time and then fold that over there okay and oh try and get that 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 point down there it doesn't matter about the top obviously because we've cut most of that off and then am i have i got the shortest then we've got an ice cream cone and we go now hold on a minute that's the bit we cut i think shorter don't we if not we'll find out Do we get petal shaped flower? Do we get heart shaped flowers? We do. Yeah, why did I do it that time? If that's too big, we have to. No, that's fine. That'll do. And then I'm going to put another one in. So it's going to be a little bit smaller. It's going to be about, I don't know, that big? Tiny little thing right now. Ooh, tiny. I don't know how big that is. Let's have a look. Is it two inches? Less than two inches. We're folding that over. Fold towards us. Third of the way down. Fold that back. Hold on. Fold the kite shape up. Turn it round so we can see how big the petal is going to be, which is this dictates how big the petal is going to be, the one that you fold backwards. And then you. I don't know if this is going to be heart shape or not. No, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it is, I think. Oh, luckily. You have to experiment with a you want heart shapes or you don't it's fun doing that right there we go and then i'm going to cut out a little oh actually i'm going to do my bread thing now because it's it's big enough Where, where's my kettle thing <laughs> i'll sit it with a kettle thing but where's my brad oh brad i mean my so my brad um cut a uh, new thing that i got yesterday that i got my brads won't go through won't go as far as that it's one of those it's really really nice i like that it's only a little mini thing but this is my ke I always call that my kettle packaging because that's what it was. And it doesn't matter which way you can glue these down actually if you want. You can glue these down, but I'm not going to because I'm going to because I'm I'm doing this fast <laughs> for a start. I'm putting a thing in the middle like that. I'm leaving it in there a minute. I'm gonna get a brad and see if I can find another red one to match my decor. <laughs> Right, let's have a look. Oh, that's red, that's pink, that's I don't is there another red one? There's one isn't there? Oh there's one. Not many red ones in there. I wonder if I can get any red ones. <laughs> you want red, don't you at Christmas? Alright, so if you're making Christmas flowers, right, so put that through the 
there and then it goes all the way through and you can put that fold that back like that how about that that is flower number one yay oh it's not even in the middle i did that in the middle never mind that's fine that's the imperfections of having fun there you go show you. <laughs> right. oh you can ink them up of course which i forgot to do you can ink the edges up which i think would look really nice on these luckily you can turn them back a little bit and do that okay i'll do that later but they will look really nice like that okay right another another way of making them making uh, using book pages to make flowers is get about three sheets okay have i got pink i haven't got pink on my drawer i think i'm gonna do pink so i haven't got red and i don't even think i've got a pink <laughs> a um pink in corrupter either right so and then you do circles so you can make so you sort of like it doesn't matter if it's not proper circle i don't think mine's going to be but basically just tear a square out and just tear the circle to your best okay like this okay that's three do it again do a slightly smaller one you're not going to tear it out anyhow now quickly <laughs> so the speedily right just a bit smaller now see if we can do it again practice doing our circles i'm using my finger and thumb to tear like this and it's not very easy for everyone but if you can do it brilliant you know, if you've got something like arthritis or something it must be fairly difficult i'm getting a little bit of pains but not like some people have right so that's two locks slightly smaller and we do a little one as well and slightly smaller slightly right uh like that there we go not even having to cut much of this off and it's quite difficult if you find it easier to cut then cut <laughs> right is that too oh that's still still too big so i've got to cut another layer off anyway now so that'd be slightly smaller than that i can use a brad again actually for this but it doesn't matter if i don't use a red one this time because i'm going to use pink around the edges right and then you can get three and you've got three flowers ish to make then yay let's see if i can find my pink if i can't let's see what colors we've got i don't think we've got any bright colors anything oh oh i can't find my ink where's that thing oh i've got a marker pen i haven't got can't find that i've got my ink obviously but i've only got a black ink up and it just <laughs> So what I'm going to use now is a pen instead. Um, let's see if we can do this instead. That's a thin side. Let's get the thick side. I've not used these for ages, or have I? Does that go on the back? See, I don't even know. I hate it that they don't go on the back. Right, let's have a go at edging up these with a pen. I know not everybody has ink uppers, do they, as well? I'm going around the edge and hot slightly off the head edge as well. That's one, yeah. Right, so you can ink them up at the edge, or you can do something like this. Smelly pen, this is. And I'm going to get ink everywhere. Right, that one, and then this one. You can do it even even more if you like. You do another one, a smaller one. Um, might be okay. So there you've got another one. You can do them different colours. Obviously, right, I'm going to use my brad again. Oh, wasn't well, I've put the wrong lid on the wrong side, I think. Never mind. Um, again, I'm going to use this. Like, I've got supposed to be checking in, the, in there whether I'm using it or not, use it in shot or not. Right, ham now, ham, a ham. Right, okay, so let's get that and let's get a little of pink, a brad or a purple one, even because purple wouldn't last with that, wouldn't it? There's a pink one. Oh, I found pink, I found a pinky one. Let's go with that. That one's it. Oh, I did do it. It's fallen on the floor now. No. It's down there somewhere. And I've got to sort that up down there. Because <laughs> there's more than that down there. All right, there we go. That's the most closest to it. Put that in there. There we go. Pick it up and fold it out. Come on, dear. Fold it. Whoops. No, I can't get hold of the... There we go. It's not easy, is it? I know. Why do they make those brads so simple? They can adjust it there. They can either glue it or adjust it to how you want it. 
Okay, like that. Ooh, how about that for a flower? That's good. It's a bit like my flowers I did in another book. Anyway, you can make more. You've got torn out more because they're quite thin, those pages. So you can make more different colours, all that. All right, so that's those two so far. You junk mail, yay. Oh, where's my junk? I'm not, unless I can do it with just this, I might be able to because I've got green on this, which is what I wanted for the leaves. I don't, I've got another one somewhere. You can use there's loads of colours in there. There's blues for that. Nice dark deep blue. This is a Christmas one as well, so <laughs> probably got Christmas colours in it. Right, um let's have a look. Oh look, that's orange. We could use that. That's orange and that's orange. I could see if we could use those. And that's orange. A lot of orange foods. <laughs> right, okay. Um Let's have a look, see if we've got four orange juice, we've got another orange food. Right. We've got biscuits there. Or cookies if you like. Uh, right, let's get some. I'm going to just cut out some of these orange foods. This is our milkman, we get milkman, yay! <laughs> get milk delivered, so that's that. This is what that's for. Right, so this is the leaflet of the stuff they can, we can we can order over Christmas. Very good. Right, okay. Right, so that's that one. I've got my greens and I've got my oranges now. So they're basically a very good idea. I did orange when I did I've done this before and I've done orange flowers, so you could do say two the same. Let's get a couple of petals done. Right, um, and if you want a template. Oh, let's see if I can get a little bit off this. I don't think I'll be using all for this. <laughs> right, so I'll need a little little petal shape. So petal shape. It's let's draw one for you. Let's see if we can draw one. Oh, I've got an orange crown. <laughs> right. So basically, petal shape is something like obviously curved out there and a curve around there. So basically like that. So part of a circle. And then part of a circle again. Make it a petal shape. Cut that out. I wouldn't do this. I'd just cut them out. But obviously, if you're not used to doing this, you might need some sort of guide. And I don't want to go ahead there and, and you could do that. You could double that up still and make it into a... In fact, you could probably make more. If you could make any more than that. It doesn't matter if you've got little bits of that on. Right. Um, pen or pencil. I've got, oh, I've got these. These are nice sharp on. Right, let's put this on. I've got that to go on there. That's the only I can do. Probably two or four actually with the ones on behind. And you need I think you'd need a base for this. Oh dear, is that not gonna fit? Just we can probably make them petals. We're gonna go have a bit of poetic license with the petals and have it slightly different shape. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try and move that up there actually. Right, so what I'm going to do is cut this one out because this one's. There we go. Let's have a look. So we can put because we might be yet. We don't know where we're going to put them yet. So I'm going to cut them like that. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this one a little bit further over here. And then. Okay, like that. Right, so I'll do the other ones. I'll just show you. I'll do the other ones now. On the side that we can. Fold these as much as possible. Draw them. Let's have a look. See where we've got our pen.
There's the um, ah, <laughs> it's the uh, right. look at probably for like a few others, one, three, six, you know. What are you doing, dog? Yeah. Well, Let's see how we can get out of this. Leaves, yeah, yeah, I can do some leaves as well. Um, I think the leaf shape would be a bit bigger than that. So draw to make a make a, a a thing a bit bigger than that, and then do it. Let's have a look. See if I can do this without doing that. I'm not very good. Oh, even I'm not very good at doing leaves actually. <laughs> and I was making pointed at the sides, but no, that's fine. That's okay. See, these are quite big. If you don't want to draw around it, you can try go out doing that. Right then, so let's get something like how about using this as to put the base because you've got to have some sort of base for this. So I'm going to use a piece of this and we're going to find out how we don't need it. We don't, I don't know how big it needs to be yet. So I'm going to just put these on this book page, perhaps in the middle. Oh no, hold on a minute. We've got this there, haven't we? So we better not use that. Let's find a different one. Let's how about the dictionary? That'll do. Piece of dictionary page. I'll glue it on there. <laughs> I don't want that. I forgot all about that. Right, so there we go. So what I'm going to do now is try and arrange. So obviously I would just probably put them on, but you might need to arrange them or something like that. Um, you can do it like that, but I've, I've got a different flower that you do like. <laughs> so that one, that one. Uh, let's have a look. Now let's do them individually because I'm doing that later. Right, so you can put them where you like. You don't have to put them opposite, but... It will make a pattern if you do. Um, no, no, let's have this. I'm going to put that in there actually because we're not going to have room. Otherwise, we're going to. Let's have another carrot there, lot. And whatever that is, ham or something. <laughs> and then ham. Oh, we can ink them up, which might help because it defines them a bit, doesn't it? There we go, right, so we've got croissant, Ooh, we've got four croissant actually, we've got those, and those, and you don't have to have the same thing, <laughs> of course, and also you're going to have to put a leaf down underneath, because I think that looked better than having it on top, um, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, we haven't linked that one up. Right, there we go. Five, seven, eight. You wrong way. Well, I used to go that way. I don't know why is that a different shape. That's weird. Right, so then you can get your pieces of leaves and stick them under. Ooh, like that. Right, okay. 
this isn't my idea by the way. This is from um what's her name? Um Natalie uh Natasha. And she did it, she did use junk mail. I have done it before on a video. Um oh, there we go. Right, so that can go there. Or it can go the same way. Like that. So I'm gonna start gluing them down actually. I'm going to put those there first. Hopefully my glue will work because I changed it last night. I put extra glue in last night at my big bottle. Yay, it's working perfectly this time. Yesterday it's like, oh, what's going on? Oh, my glue's gone. What's going on? There's nothing, nothing coming out. All right, I need a glue cloth as well. Everything's getting gluey. Well, is it there? Oh, it's there, look. It's already out. I didn't even know I got that out. Yeah, so that's probably a... One of those Christmas leaf things. I like things like that anyway, when you've got sort of like a pattern on something and it's... I'm going to put that between like that. So that's the start. Okay, don't have to do that, of course, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm going to put the opposite one. You don't have to do it opposite. You can do it um, slightly off side if you like. I've got an idea as well. I need to put, make a middle, don't we? Right, so let's put carrots. Do the carrots. Ooh. That's quite clever, really, isn't it? It's very clever. I mean, it's not my idea, so <laughs> I could say that's very clever. Right. I think she did actually use Brussels and all sorts for the leaves. <laughs> I don't know if it was a Christmas one, but um, it was. And so this is like vaguely orange stuff. And probably she even used the same pictures. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if that even goes with that, but hey. Um, I've got should have two more. That's a carrot one. What's that one? Oh, those two lot. They look nice. They'll go together, don't they? And then, whoops. And then I'm perhaps going to cut a green middle or something that'll thing to go in the green middle. Because I always think of the middles as yellow or green or something, and we've got green ready, haven't we? So I don't think I used that one. Not the potato. The potato. The roast potatoes. Right, so I'm just going to get a little piece of this. And what I'm doing is just cutting out a vague, um, just go around like this if we can. In fact, I cut two there, but never mind. So that's got a straight egg, but hey, we're not bothered about that, are we? Let's ink it up if we can. Give it a, an, an edge. And just put your little bit of glue in there, like that, mm -hmm. and put your middle in. There we go. And wipe your, wipe your glue away with this, with your, with your pad. Okay. Okay, so that's that then. Right, so what I'm going to do then, I think it'd be nice actually if you just cut, vaguely cut out the shape like this. This over again, I'm just doing this on the hoof, <laughs> as usual. So I'm basically, basically cutting out the shape. I think that'd be quite nice actually. You could even ink that up as well. Okay, like that. As you do, as you go. <laughs> so, there we go. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing flowers for weeks. I've got it in my, I've got it in my, but I thought, oh, I could do so many flowers per thing, shouldn't I? Where's the, um, oh, it's there. Oh, am I doing it in the right place? Look again. Anyway, there we go. How about that? That's brilliant. Oh, the, oh, I'll tell you where I got these from. Right. So this is from Nat uh, Nat Natasha. What is it? Natalie. Natasha. <laughs> That's from Natasha. Uh, they're Jodie Fee. Uh, I can't remember if that was. I think I saw it on a group, but obviously not with that. It, nice ink to, it would look nice inked up, but I haven't got a... I could use black. <laughs> or you could use it in your black and, white, black and white journal, couldn't I, like that? I just did black around that edge. So that's three. And then I've got another idea. It, so. Right, um, I've got this. I don't know if I've got any colours in that. No. Purple, yay. Purple will do for flowers. I've got that one. I've got green, haven't I, as well, for some leaves. Right, so I'm going to look what, what I have in there. That makes two really nice colours. But I think it will look a bit samey. Flowers aren't really samey, are they? 
Right, my idea was you could also do it like I nearly did last time. So you could do that other little thing, another little idea where you've got the so the oh no, that's, don't use that. You can't see with that. Right, so that's so you've got an idea like that, and then you come there, and then you've got an and then you've got the other one like that. See if you can make them the same size. I mean, obviously I know how to draw, so but if you can make them about the same size, you can have a double one like that. And then actually that's probably slightly different. And it doesn't matter if they are different because petals aren't the same anyway. So if you have got one shorter and one larger, perhaps that'd be good. So there's that as well. And then you can perhaps, perhaps draw it on the back. This is a single-sided sheet, so I can fussy cut this. I need, oops, I need about four of these. That doesn't matter if you don't do it. If you do it like that and you do it fatter, it doesn't matter. If you do it fatter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I suppose you could cut, fold it. And, yeah, that's point, isn't it? Wait a minute. <laughs> Logic prevails. Let's have a look. Right, so what you could do, instead of cutting all them out, you could cut them, you could just draw one. That's if your scissors will allow. I mean, my, these might. Let's have a look, see if I can do it like this instead. Will that fit? Oh, it doesn't matter because I can round it off. Um, little biros. Let's have a look what we've got. Have oh, we got any greens? Oh, there's a green, I think. No, let's see, was that a biro? Oh, it's a sharpie. Well, sharpie will do, won't it? I've got a green sharpie. I was going to use a biro, but I can't find one. So, vaguely leaves like that, if you like. Uh, oh, I've got a felt tip that's purple. You could do things like lines on these because they do look a bit plain, don't they? lines like that I'm showing you yeah so lines like this just lines across I'm doing straight lines you can make shape them to the leaves but I'm basically just doing straight lines leaves even petals even right, I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to use the book page to, to glue them onto and if I put my things away it would be it would help wouldn't it right so okay so let's get those out of the way a minute and get these and then obviously I need a middle. I think, oh, have you got anything? Oh, I haven't got anything yellow, have I, in here now? Oh, that might do. That's yellowish, isn't it? Oh, there's one. Oh, no, no that's I used that for my, my um, butterflies. <laughs> it's really pretty when you use that for butterflies. Yeah, that one. So I'm going to just cut a little circle out of this. I'll cut two, just in case I need one again. Um, again, it's just going to be a vague circle, you think. Right, there we go. Again, glue. Ooh, I've even put the lid on lock. Ooh, <laughs> I'm getting good now then. That's all I'll do is put one there. I'm only guessing. <laughs> so I, don't know, I don't even know if that's the right way up for the script because it's, it's actually writing on these leaves. So I'm going to try and put one in between like that. Right, in between. Yeah. And your glue. Don't lose those. But across there like that. Here we go, we've got a cup of tea. <laughs> can I just move this? Uh, can you just grab that? Top. 
Oops. Right, that goes in there. I've got tea on my hands now. Never mind. And that one goes across there. Try and get them in the middle ish, -ish if you like. You don't have to. I mean, it might make a brilliant arty fire if you don't. See, that goes there. Like that. Not made the journal that these are going into. <laughs> right, so that one. And this is could be this could be any time of the year flower, couldn't it? So but it was made from travel paper. Oh, there's a cat down there. Oh, we've got Benny, I think, down the, down here. Is it Benny? Yep, I'm sure we have. Because I think he was here the other day, so I think he's found a place. They always do it, don't they? It's in my um one of my cubby cubby holes. <laughs> Where I keep my, my material actually. So fabric, basically. Right. So there, are we on? Are we in? Are we on? Right. So that I'm going to do the same again, obviously, as before, because I think it looks really nice when you've, when you've sort of like cut it out the shape. Right, and then we've got to find all our little flowers and show you. And I might have another one. I don't know if I've got another idea. I'll just cut that out, right? Let's have a go. And then a bit of a... great be great on a page wouldn't it right so you've all with you so i've got them all here lot let's have a look see what we've got so far let's see if i can even add another idea that looks brilliant that's just, that's very simple to do very brightly colored around the edge though you don't have to have it as bright as me <laughs> that one that was easy but look how I've, i'm not putting it in the middle but hey and that's the foodie one yay <laughs> brilliant junk mail junk mail and things like that so you can cook i have done it before with junk mail i don't even know oh is it in there it's flowers let me show you the examples. I don't know if we've got any more examples actually of flowers. So, oh yeah, this I have made the journal because this is like the flowery journal. So I could put them in here, can't I? Oh. Oh, that's a, a die-cut flowers. They're die-cut. They're watercolour. Um, let's have a look. I drew that. <laughs> I drew that butterfly. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look, this is one. This is it. Junk mail. It's quite shiny. But that's like, uh, I think it's like, that was a lawn. And that was like the, um, you know, where they put the right in. But obviously, it's got a massive load of it, so I cut that out. That's on a pocket there. Um, I don't know if I've got any more. I might have more examples of flowers in here. There's one. That's basic. Oh, that's a different way of doing it, isn't it? Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's different. How did I do that? Right. I don't know how I did this. Whether it's a special way of doing it or not. I think what I did was um, cut out a square or something. Right, I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. That'd be great, won't you? I'll have to have a go and see if I can find that. That's the that's the five petal flower that I want, definitely. Look at that pretty, how pretty that is. It's got that. That's um, jelly press paper as well. It's, I think it's a copy of it as well, yeah. I don't know if I got that. I don't know if I copied that. Right. Look for something positive in each day, even if you don't have to look a little harder. That's your message for today. <laughs> There we go. Right, let's see what else I've got. Oh, that's uh, is that the five petal flower? Or is it a die cut? Um, I think that's a die cut one. Um, oh, that's a that's a punch one. One of those uh, flower punch. Right. So and that's a, they are as well. It's on this. They've got some faux. I made some faux stamps. I haven't done the pattern on it, but I made that's faux stamps and that's um, that's a die cut flower as well. I've got any more in here. At least I've got somewhere to put them now, haven't I? And this is really, really, this is a massive thing, this is. So I'm not going to have to fill this up much. I've got to make this. Yeah, until I remember the flowers. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, so there we go. I can probably do it a little bit better these days. <laughs> Gluing wasn't brilliant then. Right, okay. Um, so my drawing of a butterfly there. That's a little bit of a print. Oh, ooh, I like the way I did that. Very, very subtly. Like, oh, yeah. Right, okay. Well, we're not talking about that today, are we? Right. Um, so let's think how I did that. That's a cut up, cut up piece of, I don't know. Let's think. 
Oh, we've got spare petals here. Right then, let's have a think. What's that in that one? That, that, that. Oh no, not that. We don't want that. Um, have we got some? Oh, I have, I have, I have. There are those things I had earlier. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, my ideas are coming to me. Hold on, let's see how many minutes we are. 57, let's just pull that off a minute. But anyway, so I'm not even showing you. I've been talking to you, not even showing you. And this was my best one because this is the one I've made up. But anyway, let me show you again for the third time. Have I got any more paper left? All right, all right. So I forgot to put it back on when I was looking for my paper and everything. All right, I'm looking for lots of other things as well. It's pretty obvious how you do this anyway. Let me show you again. Right, so you need three sizes of square. You can, I cut them all, mine all the same size and just reduced them. Right, so let's get this again. But I, I just did, what I did was cut three sizes of square. Just, I didn't bother to uh, measure them or anything like that. Three sizes, cut the edges off because I've got edges on mine. Uh, that size, like that. <laughs> right, okay, so then all you did is fold it. And fold it again so now you've got a little square and you've got a little you just got to make sure you don't cut the, um, the wrong bit so that's the middle of your flower here and all you've got to do is, is cut, cut them off cut these corners off like that so not, we don't have to do it so you can do what shape you like but that's what i did okay that's it that then the next one i cut a little bit a little bit off so I make sure a little bit smaller than the than the one I've just done. So I cut off and make make sure we don't cut the middle bit there, or the bit there. We just cut the outside edges off. Cut that there and that there, and then making sure you've got the middle bit. Cut these corners off. That's all you've got to do. Okay, to make another one. Okay, this is jelly press. I did explain in the other the video that I wasn't doing. <laughs> right, and then there's this one. So that's we're going to do. I'm doing five ways to do flowers. I was only going to do one, but I did. I thought, well, I like the, the way. I, all right, so I'm going to cut a little bit again off this, a bit more this time because obviously we're going to probably cut about twice as much as we did last time. And then we're making sure we've got that the middle of the flower. And we're just cutting off the corners. Don't cut off the middle, otherwise you'll end up with separate pieces. I think logically. <laughs> all right, and oh, I've got pink in this bit, lot. Yeah. Right, so there. I didn't have pink in the other one. Right, so basically I've gone in rainbow order, red, orange and yellow. And then I'm going to get a green brad for the middle. But first I'm going to ink it up, which I was doing when I was really interrupted by <laughs> the thingy not working. Right, the camera. Not even on. It's actually switched itself off. No, I didn't. I know it's me. I switched it off. OK. Right, so there we go. So that's the end of, uh, oh, oh, I don't know. Would that look, we could do that as well if you like. Just do the two. But I'm doing the three. This also can make quite nice butterflies as well if you like. <laughs> yeah, so you can do butterflies like that. I've done butterflies like that before. Right, so that goes basically the same as, you can do that opposite way, the middle one the opposite way to the outside flower and the middle one the same way. And, it was the, and then that makes it, or you can adjust it until it's slightly different. Like that. Right, okay, so now I'm going to do a brad thing. So now we get the kettle, my kettle packaging, as I call it, and try and get a hole in the middle so it's somewhere like there. Okay, and then I get a little green brad. I've probably done this three times. This is the third time I've done this because obviously the second, first time I was, I found a better way of doing it. I found a better way of explaining it, I think. <laughs> I can't remember now. There's reasons anyway. There we go. And then we put that through that hole there. This is green because it's next order, the red colour of the rainbow. <laughs> There we go. And that one there as well. So let's show our five little ways of making a flower. Oh, ooh, let's do this. There we go. There. Right. And we go that. Ooh, look at that one. Yeah, so you can just you can glue it as well, don't forget. You can glue it if you like. I was thinking you could sew, sew it around the end. <laughs> sew it if you like. Right, you can do it like so there's, for, for, there's the one that that's the one I made originally. I don't think that looks I think that looks a bit boring because it's not got even been inked up around the edge, has it? So it looks a bit Looks like a child's done that, but that looks a bit more professional. 
<laughs> Charles made that, you know, it wasn't me. <laughs> right. Okay, well, there's a cat getting out of its cubby hole. <laughs> I was talking about I don't know if I, which bit of the video I was talking about that. But I don't know if you missed it. Right, so that's one way, which I think is lovely. Um, very, very simple. The simplest way. Probably looks like a child's done it because like a child's painting. <laughs> so you could use you could use solid colours and all sorts with that one. Let's find our other ones. Uh, come on, we've got other flowers besides those two. Uh, yeah, I've got those. I, think. Those, those. I didn't move them that far away. And they're still on here somewhere. Right, that one, that one. Where's the others? No, oh, you've gone, you've gone, you've deserted me. Oh no, you've deserted me. No, 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 no. Oh, here's some, right. There's two more. Where's the other one? Um, Pink one with the edges. That's not very professional, is it? Not disappearing on me like that. I've lost it. My bit, my um, other flowers. Oh, it's here. It's all right, it's hiding. Right, so there we go. Right, which one do we make first? This one, I haven't inked that up. That would look great inked up. Actually, that's one. That's not one I made earlier, is it? That's not the one. I don't think that is the one I made earlier because if I remember right, I've managed to get those petals a little bit. Oh, it might be. Oh, that might be the one then. Yeah, that might be because that's that, that middle. Those, they weren't just round as I hoped. But hey, it doesn't matter. Well, that's a, just a different shaped petal flower. Right then, so that's number one. The first one, what did we do second? Was it this one? Yeah, I think we did that one second, didn't we? So that's number two. Number three, was it this one? Was it that one? I can't remember which order it was in there. Probably this one, was it? The food one, yeah, I think it was. The food one was third. And we all cut up all the food and made that into a flower. The orange, we've got carrots and croissant and all sorts in there. And and that one is a, made from 6 by 6 paper. I've put some lines on there and things like that. And then the last one was my idea. <laughs> this looks like a child's in it. But hey, that is perfect. There's nothing wrong with that. You can make that a lot better than mine. Love to see it on my group. Yay. <laughs> right then. So if you like my content, please give me a thumbs up. Yay. Please share my video. Please subscribe to my channel. And uh, please um, share my video. I said that. I can't remember. Right. Please join my Facebook group. I'd love to have you on there. I'd love to see who makes the flowers, which one you would like to make. Which one's your favourite? Which one's your favourite flower of these? And show me if you've, if you've made any. Or just tell me which one you like. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah. And um, what else can I tell you? All three printables, I put one on there today, didn't I? Was it yesterday? So I just, this morning or last night, I put one on. can't remember. So it runs into it. Each all runs into each other. <laughs> so it could be this last night or this morning I've put those on. Uh, that on. And then um, so I think it's an actually my... It's very similar to... Not quite that one. It's pretty similar to that one. It's for the autumn. It's an autumn one. Okay. And um, so there's free printables on there. But I've also got my buy me a coffee on. If you'd like to to donate, we don't have to. It's completely free. There's you know no need to feel guilty if you don't do it. <laughs> it's just. But I thank so much to the people who have. I'm very very grateful for that. I've been able to buy a few things. That's great. Okay, towards the moment, towards my daughter's <laughs> notebook journal. <laughs> right. Um, let's have a look. What else I can tell you? Yep, I think that's all today. So, I hope you love. To, hope you tell me which one you like best. Um, and right, which one's my favourite? I don't know. I'm I'm favouring this one at the moment. <laughs> I'm looking at them on that one. Oh no, I don't know. But that one, I've done that one in a different book. Oh yeah, let's have a look. See if I can just see it. I know it's in this in my cat journal. Um, let's have a look. So, let me just show you a different style in my cat journal. Right, where are we? Cat journal style. That's there, isn't it? It's on this. Yeah, there. Look. Oh, yeah. I've done the. Yeah, I did. I did it with black. Yeah, that's right. Entered it with black, and just coloured that with. I sprayed them actually. I think with different colours and it's book pages. And it's just based. All it is all the way down is that, and that is actually some Nuevo drops or Nuvo drops. I could say Nuevo drops. <laughs> Nuvo drops. Okay, and that's that. So there we go. Oh, am I showing you in the right place? Yeah. So there we go. That's that. So that is this. So it shows you what you can do. How different you can make them look. Same paper. I think that's exactly the same paper each time. It's just different. Okay. So we'll go now. We'll go and we'll say bye then. Thank you and take care, everyone. <laughs>